Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna discuss all about quadratic formula and the second quadratic formula. So I'm Teacher Saldi. Welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn how quadratic formula has been derived, when to use quadratic formula, how the second quadratic formula has been derived, and when to use the second quadratic formula. Quadratic formula is one of the four methods in solving quadratic equations. So the other three is factoring, completing the square, and using the square roots. So we derive the quadratic formula using the completing square or solving for x. Now the standard the standard form of quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So we transpose the constant ax squared plus bx is equal to negative c. So we divide both sides by a we get x squared plus bx over a is equal to negative c over a. Now, we complete the square. We have x squared plus bx over a plus b over 2a raised to 2. So, we add b over 2a raised to 2 from the left side as well as on the right side. Now, we expand b over 2a. When we squared b over 2a, that equals to b squared over 4a squared. So, I just copied the last step. Now, simplify both sides. So, we get x plus b over 2a raised to 2, which is equal to b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. So, the right side we get its LCM, the LCM is 4A squared. Now, we will just copy B squared because its denominator is also the same as the LCM. Now, we divide 4A squared by A, we get 4A multiplied by C, that's why we get negative 4AC. So, take the square roots of both sides. So, x can be positive or negative. That's why we get positive or negative. Now, we simplify. Okay? We transpose b over 2a. That's why we get negative b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of a squared is a. That's why we have 2a. So copying the last step, we have similar denominator which is 2a. So we can combine. That is why x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So quadratic formula is used when a quadratic equation cannot be factorized or cannot take its square roots. Now, this formula is also used when the middle term of a quadratic equation is an odd number. Why? The second quadratic formula is used when the middle term of a quadratic equation is an even number. So, before that, we derive the second quadratic formula using the first quadratic formula solving for x. Let the equation be ax squared plus 2bx plus c is equal to 0. Why we got 2 on the middle term? Any number multiplied by 2 will get an even number. Okay? Let's try if the middle term is an even number. So, using the quadratic formula, a is a. b is equal to 2b and c is also equal to c so negative b that's negative 2b because our 
B on the equation is 2B plus or minus the square root of B squared, that's 2B squared, minus 4, our A is also equal to A, and also C, so that's minus 4AC, all over 2A. Now, we simplify, that's negative 2B, plus or minus the square root of 4B squared, so 2B times 2B, minus 4AC over 2A. So, simplifying, we get negative 2B, or we get X is equal to negative 2B, plus or minus the square root of 4, we extract 4, we take out 4, we factorize 4, we get B squared minus AC, all over 2A. Now, we just copy the previous step. So, taking the square root of 4, we have 2. X is equal to negative 2B plus or minus 2 square root of B squared minus AC all over 2A. So, we factorize 2 on the numerator. We get negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus AC all over 2A. So, solving for X, since we have 2 on the numerator and the denominator, we can cancel out 2. That is why x is equal to negative b plus or minus is square root of b squared minus ac over a. So quad first quadratic formula is used when the middle term of the quadratic equation is an odd number. So that's x is equal to negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And the second quadratic formula is used when the middle term of a quadratic equation is an even number. So, this is how the equation be like. So, solving for x, x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus ac all over a. So, let's have an example. Solve for x if x squared as 11x minus 35 is equal to 0. So since the quadratic equation is an odd number on the middle term, use the first quadratic formula wherein a is equal to 1, b is equal to 11, and c is equal to negative 35. So substituting values for a, b, and c, we get negative 11 plus or minus 11 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 35 all over 2. We simplify. X is equal to negative 11 plus or minus is square root of 121 plus 140 all over 2. So solving for X, X is equal to negative 11 plus or minus is square root of 261 over 2. So that's our final answer. Example number two. Solve for x if 5x squared minus 2x minus 9 is equal to 0. Since the quadratic equation had an even number on the middle term, we will use the second quadratic formula, wherein a is equal to 5, b is negative 1, and c is negative 9. So, why is b negative 1? Note that the b is equal to 2b on the second quadratic formula. So, b now is equal to b, the middle term, over 2. So, we will divide the middle term by 2. So, if it is 2, we get 1. Because 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. If it is 10, you only get 5 in b so substituting values for a b and c we get negative of negative 1 plus or minus is square root of negative 1 raised to 2 minus a which is 5 c is negative 9 all over 5 all over a simplifying we get x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 45 all over 5. 
Now, solving for x, x is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 46 all over 5. So, you can use the first quadratic formula, but still, the answer will be the same. So, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this video.